Hare Krishna. The mind on autopilot leads us to destruction, not destination. When a pilot is driving a sophisticated airplane, the plane also has an autopilot mode, wherein the pilot doesn't have to constantly maneuver everything. Once the destination has been set, once the, pl the plane is at its adequate height, at the adequate spe appropriate speed, then just moves on. And sometimes the pilot may just chit, chit chat with the other pilot, co-pilot, just keep an eye on the control parameters, but doesn't have to actively do things. So, especially if the path is clear, then the, uh, the plane can go on autopilot for substantial distances. And only when some turbulence happens, then the uh, pilot will have to monitor to see what is happening. Now, of course, how much the autopilot can work well depends on how sophisticated the autopilot system is. But the principle is that autopilot can take the plane forward uh, in normal situations. Now, we also sometimes function as if on autopilot. That means that we start doing things and this is the pilot may not be attentively monitoring things, although the pilot should be monitoring things. Like that sometimes we start doing things and our mind wanders off. Our mind is no longer observing, thinking why we are doing this, how we should be doing this. We just start doing things mechanically. Our body is functioning over there, but the mind is elsewhere. Now, uh, this can have several results. If we have been doing these activities repeatedly, then we may be able to do it well. That is not a problem. But sometimes, while doing these activities uh, in a repeated way, although we may do them like a, a machine or a robo, on autopilot, but the mind, not only is it not involved over there, the mind can easily go off in a dangerous direction. The mind may make us resentful about what something has done, someone has done something. The mind may make us compulsively desirous of something. Now, I want to eat this, I want to watch this, I want to touch this. And in any of these ways, the mind can drive us crazy. And once we are driven crazy in this way, then the mind first goes off in a destructive direction and then it, it takes us in a destructive direction. So, when it takes us off in a destructive direction, then what happens is we cannot get to a destination. We get misdirected away from our destination towards some dangerous place, towards danger and disaster. Now, where does the mind go off when we go on autopilot? It goes off to the things we are attached to. So, if we have functioned primarily in material consciousness, we are attached to sensual things, then our mind will take our consciousness off towards material things and entangle us that way. The Bhagavad Gita cautions us about this in 2.44. Bhogaishwari prasaktanam taya parita chetasam vyavasayatmika buddhi samadhau navidhiyate. So, it states that bhogaishwarya prasaktanam, when we are too attached to our sensual pleasure and worldly opulence, then taya aparita chetasam, that the consciousness gets abducted by that. So, we may be doing something else, but our consciousness gets goes somewhere else and it's, it gets trapped over there. And then whatever we are trying to do, Vyavasayatmika buddhi samadhau navidhi at one pointed intelligence to focus on what we the things which we are doing that just does not stay with us. So, by recognizing that the mind on autopilot can be dangerous, we can strive to be more conscious and more conscientious. The more we strive to be aware of our surroundings, our situations, the more we can actually move forward positively doing constructive things and keep you taking our mind along towards our desirable destination. The practice of Bhakti Yoga which involves fixing the mind on Krishna purifies us and through that purification we can better and better fix the mind on Krishna and the more we are able to fix the mind on Krishna, the more mind becomes purified and pacified thereby enabling us to keep it focused on whatever 
we may be doing. Thus, when the mind is purified, it will actually become attached to Krishna and even if we go on autopilot, the mind will go towards Krishna instead of sensual things. And at that time, the mind will be our friend. Uh, so, till that time happens, we need to be conscientious and not function, let the mind put us on autopilot. Thank you. Hare Krishna.